Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to configure your emails and use the free email services. Most of the communication that is conducted amongst organizations and businesses are via emails. With every service that you purchase with us, we provide two free email IDs. And hence, let's go ahead and see how to configure your email accounts and start sending emails. Email service is one of the free services provided by Reseller Club. It is a complimentary service bundled with any paid services in Orderbox. This feature allows you to create two free email accounts of 100 MB each on the domain name or the services you have purchased with us. Since email service is a free service, you need to search for the primary paid service and navigate to its management page. Let's click on products, list all orders, Click on the domain name. Now amongst the list of services you will find an option called as email. The free email service gets activated when you click on the manage email link for the first time. The manage email option allows you to create an email account and manage these services. But in order to send and receive emails for your domain name you need to first add the required records. The records for email services are mentioned in the email dashboard. You can click on mail, DNS configuration, in case you are using the default order box name servers then the records are automatically added in the DNS zone. If you wish to retain the name servers of your domain name that is if you are using a third party name server instead of reseller club name servers you would need to add the required records the MX, CNAME and the TXT records in the current DNS zone of your domain name. Now in order to create the email account you need to click on the option mail add user. This is an option which will allow you to create your desired email address. Click on add user. Once the email address is created, you will see details like your password, your email address, the details to sync your email address on an email client and the webmail URL. Webmail is an online interface that you can use to access, manage and organize your email account. Typically an email containing your login details is sent to an alternate email address when your account is created. On clicking on the link webmail, this will redirect you to the email interface. Here you need to add your username, and the password. This will log you into an OX app suit from where you will be able to check your emails as well as compose new emails. It is always recommended to change the password as soon as you are logged into your webmail interface. You can click on settings. And click on change password. Here you need to enter your default password and the new password that you want to set for your email account. Once the password is reset, you can now log into your email account with the new password that you have right now created. Now let's go back to the email dashboard and see the other features that the free email services have to provide. There are various other options that are provided in the email dashboard. The next option that you see is add bulk users. You can create a CSV file and upload the same with the user account information. This will automatically create the email accounts under this panel. The next option that we have is an add forward only account. 
A forward only account is an email ID that does not have an inbox associated. Any email sent to the mail ID will directly forward the mails to the mail address mentioned in the box below. As you see, any email that is sent to test at the rate yourwebsite.org.in will be automatically forwarded to the email address that is mentioned below. The next option that you see is manage user accounts. This panel allows you to check all the email addresses created for the domain name and also check the mail quota for each email account. The option edit allows you to modify the user information, set the forwarders, as well as the email identity. The forwarder option allows you to add forwarders for your primary email address. Any email sent to the primary email address will first save a copy in its inbox and then forward the emails to all the email addresses mentioned under the forwarders. The only difference between a forwarder and an forward only account is when you set a forwarder admin at yourwebsite.org will also have a copy of the email and the emails will be forwarded to the email addresses mentioned whereas forward only account does not have an inbox for itself it will directly forward all the emails to the recipient. The next option that we see is email identities. Email identities allows you to choose which address you want to use to send an email. As soon as you create an email identity, a verification email will be sent to the new email address. Once the verification is completed, the next time you go ahead and compose an email, you will have two email addresses under the from section. The other option that we have is export users. This is an option to download user information into a CSV format. Manage domain aliases. If you have more than one domain, you can receive emails on all of them using the email addresses created in your hosting package without setting up a separate account and forwarding them. Before setting a domain alias, you need to make sure that the new domain name is already pointing to the MX records mentioned below. Once the MX records have been propagated, you can add the domain name over here as an alias. The next option that we see over here is a manage catch-all account. A catch-all is an account that receives messages sent to a non-existing email address at your domain name. A catch-all email address can ensure that genuine and possibly important communications intended for you is never missed. You have the option to choose if you want to send a bounce back to the sender or forward to the following user account. The email address mentioned over here will grab all the emails that are sent to a non-existing email address at your domain name. The last option that you see over here is install certificate. This option allows you to secure your webmail interface. Once the certificate has been uploaded and the private key has been added, you need to make sure that the CNAME record for the webmail.yourdomain name has been modified to the new record mentioned here. This will then redirect webmail.yourdomain name to the HTTPS link and will secure the username and password that is entered on that interface. Hope this was helpful. In case you have any queries, reach out to us using the details given in the description box below. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.